On Saturday, Governor Scott took executive action to reassign the case against Everett Miller, taking it away from Orlando State Attorney Aramis Ayala. It is the latest of dozens of prosecutions that Scott has now reassigned after Ayala announced earlier this year that she wouldn't seek the death penalty in any case. That brings new attention to the question, can Governor Scott legally deny an independently elected prosecutor's right to choose how to try her cases? Mark Rivera explains what's at stake. It's all about what's called prosecutorial discretion. That's the ability for a prosecutor elected by you to be able to choose how best to use your money and resources and how best to charge and convict people for crimes they've committed. State Attorney Aramis Ayala says she thinks capital punishment is too costly and it drags on for years. Her attorney, Roy Austin Jr., argued before the Florida Supreme Court, because Ayala is an independently elected official, she has the discretion to pursue the death penalty or not. They made absolutely clear that seeking the death penalty cannot be mandatory. And so there is no, if they had that case, then they would have argued that case. They don't have that case here. What State Attorney Ayala did is follow the law as it is written in the criminal statute. She followed it to the letter. The Florida Solicitor General representing Governor Scott says Scott needs to take the death penalty cases away because the state law allows the governor to be sure that laws are being enforced. The across the board policy that petitioner articulated here, which takes effectively the death penalty off the books with respect to the Ninth Judicial Circuit. But here's the thing, Ayala isn't saying that she's going to stop enforcing laws, just that she's going to stop seeking the death penalty. There's always the possibility of life without parole. Let's say they, they, that the Supreme Court decides that the, what the governor did was okay. Does that mean that the next time the governor disagrees with an elected prosecutor's decision not to seek the death penalty, that he can come and snatch the case? That's a slippery slope, as far as I'm concerned. This goes to the very heart of state versus local government. While the Supreme Court has heard the case, there hasn't been a ruling yet. Mark Rivera, 10 News.